job of interim leader of the party. And today she talked about her plans for the next couple of months. CBC's Margot McDermott has the story. Maybe we should split the difference and go, oh, I want to buy one. <laughs> See how the star of my big fat Greek wedding and her inventive sister are helping our new improved zoo. Coming up on CBC News at 6. Canadian Blood Services put out a plea today for people to do their part for our health care system and give blood. Blood donations dip every summer. People think of vacations and having fun more than they think of donating blood. The problem is demand doesn't drop and it doesn't take much for it to suddenly spike. CBS says one person seriously injured in a car crash can need the blood from 50 donations. And it can take 30 donations worth of blood to treat just one cancer patient for a month. I'm uh, working this weekend on the, uh, on the ward that's taking care of the kids with cancer and blood disorders for the province. We have a full unit this weekend. Um, we have many, many kids who are depending, uh, dependent on blood products. Um, it makes a huge difference to us to have the stable blood supply so we can uh, take good care of our kids. The number to call for an appointment to donate blood is easy to remember. one 2 donate a new and potentially dangerous prank. It's called swatting. See how one family found their home surrounded by RCMP officers after a bogus 911 call. You're watching CBC News, Winnipeg. I want to buy one. <laughs> Nia Vardalis is in town shooting the new American Girl movie. She and her sister Nancy took time out to goof around and donate child backpacks that Nancy designs to the zoo. The backpack goes on the child and then you would just hold it and you can walk along and you don't feel like your kid's on a leash. And they're pretty cool. And guess what? My sister invented it. So here you go. The sisters have always been in each other's corners. My sister flew herself to Toronto on points to choreograph my big fat Greek wedding. Our family has sort of raised us like that. We all help each other. We're on the hunt for ice cream. Walking around the zoo later, we talked about why kids are so important to the sisters. Nia is an adoption advocate, and Nancy does work with Beyond Borders, a charity for sexually exploited children. They see their hometown evolving into a fantastic place for kids. Winnipeg is... Uh, the greatest place to grow up and the greatest place to come home to. I'm just, I'm having an amazing time. No marketing or advertising has been done for safe to go mostly just word of mouth. We always called it telephone, telegram, telegreek. Nia is now spokesperson for Nancy's Safe to Go Backpacks. Isn't that cool? At the zoo store, two-year-old Sarah Chen wanted to try one out. So we I want to test this around the store right now. Tom Hanks' son, Colin Hanks, has a newborn, and he also has one. It seems to be a hit in Los Angeles and in Winnipeg. I love it. How's it working? It's great. I'm buying it. Nia goes back to California in August to work on a film with Seth Rogen. She'll also be continuing to work on a book she's writing on adoption. Patrice Mousseau, CBC News, Winnipeg. Do you want one of those? Yes, I totally do. We could sort of control you a little better in the news. <laughs> you we can could, try. Hey, get back here. You have a meeting. Mm. Ah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's let's have a look outside. We're going to talk weather now okay. instead of little backpacks that are fuzzy and cute for Janet. Uh, there's a look at the stadium. You see people sort of funneling into their seats, getting ready for, well, what Sean described as a, kind of a, a mixed night. We've got a tribute going on to Coach Harris, and then we've got the Bombers and Lions going. And uh, game time temperature should be around 25. Right now, it looks like this. 27 degrees, and at the Forks, we're still at 28. That was the high today. Uh, airport reached about 20. 27.9. It's 24 in Selkirk, 25 in Steinbeck, 26s to the west of us, and uh, 24s in the